And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a hexagon pattern. So I've not simply stacked hexagons, they diminish or they get reduced in size in a vertical dimension. Let us first create a hexagon with the polygon tool, six corners. I click on the X to get rid of the fill and a stroke is important as it determines the space. Let me size that down a little bit holding shift and control. If you have it too big to begin with, Inkscape might crash in the end because we need a couple of these. And Inkscape likes to crash when the entire project gets too big. Now press Ctrl D to copy it and reposition the copy down here. You can also use guides if it doesn't snap. And then this corner should snap into the right position. Just like this. Press Ctrl D again until you've got this object right here. So this is our starting point. You can press Ctrl A to select them all, then go to Path and Combine. So this is our basic element that we need. Now press Ctrl D, and once again the snapping helps. Create a couple of copies and layer them like this. I'll just make five and then I delete the ones in the center. So only one after first and the last. But it's important to keep in mind that I've deleted three of these elements. We need that number later on. Now select the bottom one and I'll make the stroke thicker. Once again the stroke it determines the distance between the elements that we have in the end. So don't make it too thick but not too thin either. Then select both, once again Ctrl A helps, extensions generate from path and then use interpolation. And here we need the three elements for the interpolation steps. So if you've deleted five in between you need to change that to five, but everything else keep it like this, so the exponent is zero, interpolation method one. You might get a warning message, just confirm it and then click on apply. And now this stroke it gets gradually thicker and this makes our gap gradually thicker. Now select it all, Ctrl D to copy and position it like this. So here's the snapping if you haven't activated that, but it should be by default. Always do it like this. If you select it all, copy it and try to reposition it, you might run into problems with the snapping and you can't find the right position, like here. So always just select one of these rows, press Ctrl D to copy and then reposition them, the snapping helps you then. So I'm fine with this, it's enough to show the effect. Now we'll create a background. Just a simple rectangle, we give it a different color and I use the top function right here to put it to the bottom. Now Ctrl A, hold shift, click on the background to deselect it, so I'll need this selected. Then hold shift, click on the white color swatch to give it a white stroke. And now you can already see what we've got here, so you have to focus on the negative shapes. Create a new rectangle on top, something like this. Then Ctrl A, right click, set a clip. And now this is what we want. So it looks like all of these elements, they get smaller and smaller and this creates this pattern. When you want to export it, press Ctrl A and then Ctrl G to group it. That way you can be sure that you've got everything selected. And this is how you can create this hexagon pattern in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.